we're taught about measures, you know, we're talking about pulse beats, all right, so we can count one, two, three, four, and so on. So I've known some people say, well, you know, the best way to plan temple is to get a metronome. Oh, my gracious. And forget about Tommy clocks now. Too exact. Too exact. But you know what? The body, the heart doesn't have the same time length, you understand, between each, each, each contraction and relaxation of the heartbeat. Ba -boom. And the next, ba -boom. if they are the same, that is extremely dangerous. And that's what they were missing before. They, were, they weren't counting the time difference between there. So if the doctor heard that and everything seemed to be clean, the more exact the time measures, the more dangerous it is. In other words, if you felt your pulse rate at your wrist or any other place other than listen to your heart, you know, hear that, boop, 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 they should be different. That's a healthy heartbeat. They can call that the chaos heartbeat. They can call that heart rate variability. That means the rate constantly varies. And all that people have to do is feel their pulse, and all of a sudden they count. They'll notice they count slower at one point, then they count a little faster. That's great. But if you count like a metronome and everything's like pop, 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 just like the second hand, that is extremely dangerous. That means your body is not responding. <laughs> It must respond. You cannot walk across the street and, 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 and military march, you know, on the beat per second on a major high, let's put on a major highway where traffic is coming. If no traffic coming, you can you can you can march with equal steps. But when you see big trucks coming, fast cars coming, you'll be moving all over the place. Your tempo's gonna start to change. Well, see, that's what the body expects. The body ex doesn't expect you to go and train in a very metronomic way. So what makes a person being able to swing, a person not being able to swing? You mean, I got a lot of compliments from a lot of those old guys, man. And I said, you know, man, I'm not playing your typical dang, 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 dang. But they heard it. It was, dang, it was all in there, man. They heard it, man. I said, swing, man. You, you know, swing, man, is getting you to move from one point to another point. It's putting life into you. You can't put a dang, dang, a dang and call that the swing rhythm. Swing is means, man, when you can feel, man, like, hey, man, I want to live to the next day. <laughs>